Don't need permission, made my decision to test my limits Cause it's my business Hey guys, so I'm back with another video And as you can see, I'm doing a sultry, like sexy, like shimmery eye So um, it's pretty simple to do The palettes that I used in this particular video is my Hard Candy Natural Eyes palette I use this palette and then I also use my Tartlet palette as well and then as a transition color for like the first time I've used is my MAC blush in Raisin so this stuff is amazing so basically you know if you guys want to see how I got this look um, with my eye my eye makeup honey yes honey yes mm, I'm feeling sexy but anyways so if you want to see how I got this eye makeup look just keep on watching okay guys so I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes with my hard candy uh, primer and the products that I talk about will be listed down below in the description box I do for this particular eye look apply clear tape to the outer corner of my eye because I just want a really clean um, line with my eyeshadow so I'm gonna go in with the Mac eyeshadow well it's actually a Mac blush in raisin but I'm using it as my transition color for this particular eye look and with this eye look you're going to do a lot of blending because uh, you don't want really harsh lines you want it to look sultry and sexy you know you guys get the point so I'm just going to blend it all out now at this particular time I'm going to go in with my hard candy natural eyes palette and I'm going to use this dark brown color and that's going to go more a little bit above my crease just to make kind of like a new crease if that makes any sense to you guys so I'm gonna place it a little bit above and then I'm going to you know start off kind of light with it and then I will apply it a little bit more heavily so it kind of like gradually building up the color of the dark brown and then I'm just going to you know just blend it and I'm using like a windshield wiper motion mixed with like circular motions and you really want to focus on the outer portion of your eye by the tape because you want that part to be the darkest. And then I'm going in with a fluffy blending brush just to blend both of the colors that I've used in and to kind of get rid of a little bit of the harsh line that the dark brown eyeshadow has made. Once I do that, I will go into my Tartlet um, palette in the bloom I will go in with that palette and I'm going to go in with the color like a reddish color is called rebel and then I'm going to focus that more towards the outer corner of my eye and I am going to go a little bit down towards my lash line as well um, with this particular color and again, as I did state, it's a lot of freaking blending, right? So I'm blending it in. And I'm just going to keep on blending. So now I'm going to go in from the same Tarlet palette. I'm going to go in with Smokes smoke show which is pretty much like a black but not like the black is black so it's a black color but it's a little bit more smoky so I'm going with that and I'm gonna focus on the outer corner of my eye and as you see I'm kind of just building up the black um, but we do want it to be dark so if you don't have time to just build it up then just go for it girl like go all in okay it's okay we want it to be heavy looking we want it to be smoky and black towards the outer corner of your eye so that is okay if you do it that way and then i'm going to go in with my fluffy blending brush and blend it together just because i don't want those harsh lines so i'm kind of blending it out because black eyeshadow can leave a very very harsh line so 
we're going to blend that girl. And just keep on blending. So once you have blended it, I'm going to wet my makeup brush and then I'm going to go in from the Tarlet palette with the color Firecracker, which is kind of like a shimmery gold color or copper color. So I'm going to go in with that. And to get the max results, I wet, wet my makeup brush, which I'm sure you've probably heard if you've been watching makeup tutorials. Um, it really brings out the color. Now on top of the Firecracker color, from the same tartlet palette I'm going to go in with funny girl and this is more of a brighter color um, and I'm going to pretty much just place that a little bit on top and then in the inner corner of my eyes to open up my eye because it is so bright Then I'm going to go in with my fluffy blending brush and kind of just get rid of a little bit of those lines. And as you can see, some of the black has disappeared a little bit. That's why I said it's okay to be heavy handed. So I'm going to go back in with the color Smoke Show from the Tarlet palette. And then I'm going to apply more of that to the outer corner of my eye. And as you can see, I'm kind of a little bit like sweeping it into the copper color. And that's just because I want to create some type of gradient effect. I don't want this to be like, you see the copper color and then bam, here's just black. So I kind of blend it all in together to make like a gradient effect so that the copper color will blend into the black a lot smoother, like a good transition. And then I'm going to blend again. So now I'm gonna go in with my Elf Gel Eyeliner. I'm not a huge fan of gel eyeliner. I'm um, just because it dries up so quickly when applying, um, but I kinda do like it a little bit. So I know that sounds like crazy, but I like it a little bit but I'm not a huge fan of it. You're gonna take that eyeliner all the way to the inner corners of your eye. And then I like to apply my wing actually when I take off the tape, um, cause it just looks weird to me when I have the tape on and I do the wing, so. I actually like to take off the tape to actually do the tail end of my eye. And excuse my nails, y'all. Like, I need to go to the nail shop, so don't judge me. So then I like to go in with my NYC Black Liquid Eyeliner. And if you guys have been following me and subscribe, to my YouTube channel and watch my videos, you know I love this stuff. This is like a holy grail liquid eyeliner for me. So it's so pigmented. So I go in with this and I kind of just go over the gel liner that I made. And then I like to go in with my mascara I can't really remember which mascara. I know it's from Revlon, um, but I can't think of the actual name of it. So I will link that down below in the description box. And I also apply it to my bottom lashes as well. But for my bottom lashes, just to make them pop, I do go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I do go in with that next. And that really like, that really makes your bottom lashes pop. And as you can see, I do like to use the end of the wand. And that's just because it grabs more of the hairs and makes it more defined. So if you're having issues with, you know, 
making your eyelashes stand out, try using the tip of the applicator brush and that should help. And right here, as you can see, I'm using the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, which I love this mascara because I have no bottom lashes, but it makes it look like I do, right? So now I like to go in under my brow bone. I like to go in with Charmer from the Tartlet Palette. There's the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Do not forget to subscribe, comment, share, and thumbs up this video. And like always, guys, I will see you guys in my next video.